Right, I've just installed the uh, Vent Asia low carbon extractor fan for the bathroom. The the reason being is I uh, the previous fan I had it was just a, on a timer and it would uh, run about five minutes after you turn the light off and then turn off. Um, what was happening is uh, it's remaining you know after you take a shower in here it's so humid. It would just remain humid, the walls wet, ceilings wet, and we had quite a bit of uh, mold growing, which uh, needed constant cleaning every few weeks. So anyway, I thought the uh, the solution for this would be the humidity um, regulator. I guess uh, what this does is it detects the humidity, and um, well, the fan will keep running until the humidity is down to a certain point. Uh, so anyway. I'd, looked online and on Screwfix they had this fan here which was the looks like the, be the best fan or most expensive fan it cost me 99 pounds for it um, it's the uh, 100H low carbon silhouette by Vent Asia um, and anyway it was quite easy to install It just fits right in there. Slides in. It's got some controls in here as well. So it's got two controls. You can either, you can see in close there, you see where it says number two there? If I move that up, the fan will lower it, will run in the uh, economical mode, or the fan is just at lower speed. So it's half wattage. Now, this little thing up here. On the right, if you adjust that, that adjusts the humidity control on there, and uh, you can make it more sensitive or less sensitive. Um, what I did is I, I started with it turned all the way to the right, which is the um, I guess it allows more humidity. Um, and then you slowly, you say it after you shower, it will run a while. And if you find that it's not it's not dry yet, maybe the wall's a bit more humid, it's very humid in your bathroom. Just uh, slowly turn it counterclockwise uh, until it turns on. Um, and then let that run. And then once it stops running again, just have a look in your bathroom. Is it, do you feel it's dry enough in here yet? If it's not, then continue just to move it uh, counterclockwise again until, it's, uh, until it turns on. And then... You just keep doing that until you feel that it's reached the proper dryness in your bathroom and then next time it'll just run until it's dry in your bathroom. Um, this little screw on the left here, that determines how long it will run after you turn the light on, regardless of the humidity in, the, in your bathroom. So, um, I believe it's uh, clockwise as well. Um, which makes it run for less time or counterclockwise for more time. I could be could be wrong on that, but um, anyway, it's from three minutes up to 20 minutes that the fan will run regardless of humidity after you turn the light off. Uh, the fan does turn on when, when you turn the light on. That's one of the things that is quite good about this. That it, it has, well, basically it turns on for two reasons. One, you turn the light on, and two, the humidity is... Uh, is at a certain point where it triggers the, the you call it the humidistat. Anyway, I'm quite happy with this. Um, I've uh, calculated that based on the air that it is able to move um, per per hour, I guess, um, that it will change the air in my bathroom every five minutes and forty seconds. Um, so, well, I'm quite happy with my buy. It's now keeping the bathroom dry, and it's a good price at Screwfix. So head on over and purchase from there if you're having humidity or mold problem in your bathroom.